Hi, today I'm going to show you how to put together Spellbinder's BB's Snowflake. And the one that I have is the pop-up snowflake. And this is just a prototype I made. But I think it looks pretty great. So these are the pieces that you need to uh, use to make the snowflake. And it is uh, the large center snowflake. And then you have to cut this one twice. And this is going to be the center um, pop-up part of the snowflake. And then you need to cut one of these. This is what uh, helps the snowflake pop up in the card. And then this is the extra piece that is for um, the sentiment, which you cut one time. So I cut these pieces um, out of 110 pound cardstock. I just wanted it to be sturdy. You can uh, use any kind of cardstock for the snowflake. I used 110 pound, and then I used this pretty uh, prism metallic cardstock that I got from Your Paper Insider. And they sent me a box of assorted cardstock, and they have a subscription uh, for $29.95 delivered, which is really a great deal. There's quite a bit of paper in there, and there's some envelopes and some specialty cardstock. So I cut the snowflake pieces twice, as you can see here, and then the large one once. And then I did, um, I originally cut the sentiment from 110 pound cardstock, but then I thought it didn't look special enough, so I cut it from just regular metallic cardstock. So to start with, you take the large snowflake, and it has some perf marks here where uh, you're supposed to bend the snowflake. And I usually use the edge of the desk, but you, you wouldn't be able to see it if I was doing that. So I'm just going to use this thin acrylic block that I had to help me um, properly fold the snowflake. And then that'll help me. So I don't want to bend it in the wrong place. It's always good to use a scoring tool just to make the edges a little bit crisper. So that's the first piece. And then there's two smaller pieces. And these two pieces lock together. I'm just going to pop up the little die cuts here because you don't need those. So these two pieces easily fit together. You can see where they go. And there's tabs that you push together. And you can see from the back, here are the tabs. So on the small snowflake, after you insert the tabs, this is the back. Um, these little tabs can be glued down to keep the snowflake from moving. So I'm just putting a, a tiny dot of glue here to keep this in place. You fold it up and glue it to the back. Same with this piece here. You fold it up and then you put a little dot of glue here just to keep it in place. And that'll keep the snowflake from jiggling around. Just need to hold that for another minute. So I glued the small tabs to the back and I let that dry. And now I'm going to insert these longer tabs into the slits here and here on the larger piece. So they're inserted, and now there's small, um, there's some small score marks. Um, you could probably see better on the die cut piece. Right here at the tabs, there's score marks there, 
and I folded those up and then I'm going to glue them in place. just at that bend there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and let it dry. Next, you're going to take the small tab piece, which looks like this, and you're going to fold it in the middle like a mountain. And then these two tabs come up like valleys. So the piece should look like this. Take a little bit of scoring. So there it is. Okay, so next you're gonna take this small tab. Again, it's folded, so the crease is pointing up. You're gonna apply glue onto the left side and on this little tab portion. Now this is gonna match up to the sentiment banner. So you match up these two tabs just on the half. The other half you can see is not attached, it's loose. I'm just holding this in place for a minute and I'm going to let it dry. Okay, so that's dry. And now I'm going to take this little tab and insert it into the slot right here on the pop up portion. That's going to go into that slot. And then I'm going to bend that tab so that I could glue it to the back. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the back right here. And I'm just going to put a small dot of glue here so this sentiment will stay in place. And again, I'm going to just give that a second to dry. The other half of that mountain tab is going to be inserted into the right side of the snowflake. As you can see, it easily goes in. Bend that little tab. And again, apply, apply just a little bit of glue here just to keep that in place. And I'll just hold that for a few seconds. So next I'm taking the A2 size card. I already die cut it, that's why there are these holes here, but I just wanna show you how I did it. Um, I put a piece of paper that I had put some silver embossing on just to kind of fancy it up a little bit. Um, and you take this piece, which cuts these holes. Now, this is the crease right here of the card and you're gonna line this vertical piece up and then the two X's will go here on the sides so that you know where to put, you know how to place this properly. I also, before I did that, I also kinda eyeballed where I'd want the snowflake to be sure that it fit and so that it wasn't too high, too low. You don't want it over the top of your card. So when you run this through, like this, I put a piece of um, mint tape. You can also use, you know, washi tape, whatever you use to hold your dies in place and run it through and you see the, the holes that it makes. So next I'm gonna show you how to fold this little pop-up mechanism. This is what um, the snowflake's gonna sit on top of. So you wanna make a platform by bending these two sides down. And now you have a little table. You can see it looks like this. I use my score tool to make the creases. And then there's more score lines here. These are gonna be folded up
like that on both sides. So you see it's going to be like this, little table. And then you're going to take your card and you're going to insert these tabs. And it'll look like this. It almost looks like a little tent. You can see it from the side. I haven't glued it yet, so I don't want it to pop out. And then you turn it over. And then you glue these tabs. You push these tabs down or upward, she says. And you can glue these in place. I think it's a little bit easier to do one side at a time. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here. So you see you're gonna have to cover the front of your card because otherwise you're going to see these tabs. But you could just use a piece of um, printed paper, or whatever you want. You can decorate your own paper. So let me go ahead and hold these in place, and I'll be right back. So next I'm just taking um, some paper that I had in my stash. This was a six by six piece of paper that I cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half just to fit on the... Um, Front of the card because you want to cover the glue tabs. This paper is directional, so I'm just trying to look at it. So I just lined it up, put it on. It doesn't have to be printed paper, it could be whatever you want to do. If you want to ink up your own paper, stamp something, that's fine too. But you just want to cover up those tabs and uh, keep it securely in place so they don't pop up later. And this paper will help do that. So I cut another strip for the back. I like to stamp my cards, so I just cut a small, the leftover piece. I cut this down to five and a half, um, four quarter, and then I had this small piece left over, and I'm just gonna adhere that to the back. And again, that's just to cover these tabs and keep them there. Put a little glue there. Probably should have done that in the front too. Because that's going to be all covered by the paper anyway. Okay, so that is all covered. The inside is all dry and in place and now all you have to do is adhere the snowflake okay next you're going to attach the snowflake to the little table that's what i like to call it i'm putting glue on both halves and then you're going to take the snowflake you're going to line up the crease of the snowflake to this cut out line Just checking to be sure it's lined up properly so you don't see the little table underneath. And then carefully fold it and you can hold it in place till it dries. So now you can see what the snowflake card looks like. This is the front and when you open it, it looks like this. It's kind of cool that it seems to move. It's not just like a regular pop-up card. I think most pop-up cards we make just don't have that little table that the snowflake sits on. 